However, there's no such thing as non-prep porcelain veneers. Let's debunk a myth here. On this video, I will be answering some frequently asked questions by my patients on a day-to-day -day basis uh, about dental veneers. I will be answering the following questions. Number one, what are dental veneers? Number two, what material are they made out of? And number three, do we take down tooth structure in order to complete this treatment? So let's answer the first one. What are dental veneers? So dental veneers are thin shells made out of a, of a specific dental material that fit in the frontal surface of the tooth to improve the aesthetics of the teeth. So question number two, what is the material that the veneers are made out of? So there's two different materials that dental veneers can be made out of. The first one is dental composite. And dental composite is basically an aesthetic tooth filling material. And it comes out in a, in a doughy consistency from which the dentist then shapes it into a desired tooth shape. This procedure is usually done from start to finish in only one appointment. Here I am showing how I contour the composite filling material into a desired tooth shape. You can see how it has a doughy consistency initially from which we can model it and give it the aesthetics that we desire. This is a rough buildup of the veneer, however it's not a finished product. The light will set the material into a hard structure. More contouring and polishing is needed to achieve the final result, but this is just to show you the procedure of composite veneers. This was achieved by only adding the material on top of the tooth structure. Here is the before and after of the rough buildup, coming up soon. The second material that the dental veneers can be made out of is dental porcelain. Now dental porcelain is a material that involves a technician's technician or a ceramist to make it. Now this is a huge topic in itself because there are different ways to make dental veneers including the 3D um, CAT CAM technology where the machi machines will make the veneers but if we want our veneers to have superior aesthetics then we have to involve the ceramist to place these natural aesthetic uh, features of the tooth um, by hand. This means that it will take a few appointments to get to the finished result. Now we're answering the third question which is do we take down tooth structure in order to make the veneers? So the answer is depending on the case um, and the material that we are choosing. So if there's a patient with very slightly rotated teeth or gaps between the teeth, um, then we can probably get away with adding a veneer without compromising the function of, of your teeth or chewing and the strength of the material that we're adding. Um, but the material would have to be composite. Composite is a material that is controlled by the dentist and it's very easy, easily adjustable if needed. However, there's no such thing as non-prep porcelain veneers. Let's debunk a myth here. The first reason is the porcelain veneers need a certain thickness for the material to, be, to have strength. So um, the minimal thickness in some areas is 0.3 millimeters, but in some areas is uh, 1 millimeter, up to 1 millimeter. So if we add that on top of your tooth structure, um, not prepared tooth structure, um, your teeth will look bulky and, and, and tall and big, right, overall. So that will not necessarily improve the aesthetics that you're looking for with dental veneers. So in order to achieve that aesthetic result, we have to prepare your teeth. The second reason is that the porcelain veneers have to be made by a technician or a ceramist. So the dental technician or a ceramist has to have a copy of, uh, of the mouth. So basically, either in a digital scanned form or a actual model. And in that model, they need to see a finishing line. So without these finishing lines, the technician will not know where the veneer starts or ends. So they need to see this in order to execute the veneers with a superior fit and aesthetics. Here, I am minimally preparing the tooth for a porcelain veneer. There are several techniques used to prepare the teeth. On this video, I am using a specific measurement burr that allows for maximal tooth conservation by taking down only the required structure in order to make the veneer.
Here I am showing the finishing lines that the technician or ceramist needs in order to fabricate the porcelain veneers. So these are just a few reasons why uh, porcelain veneers treatment in, is an irreversible treatment. With that said, there is such a thing as minimal prep veneers. There are techniques out there that we use to, um, to, to prepare the teeth to the minimum requirements in order to conserve as much tooth structure as possible. This is all for the first few questions about dental veneers. And if you're interested to know more, make sure to watch part two of this topic coming up soon. I hope you learned a thing or two about dental veneers and thank you for watching. In the meantime, please brush your teeth.